Yo, what's up guys, Kevin here. And today we're doing a park session. So running through all the jumps, all the tubes, all the different box features and trying to progress with some skills in the park. One thing I often forget to do is bend my knees on jumps. So this first lap through, gonna really focus on just bending my knees, getting them up close to my chest and also keeping my arms down. So first lap, let's go. Just getting those knees bent. Sweet, yeah, so I'll hit like all the features. Guys, we're up here riding with our friend Sam. He's gonna take us through the park as well. Gonna get some tricks down. Local from Switzerland. That was amazing. Sam, man, what's your life like here in Zermatt? Like, how long have you lived here? Uh, I actually just moved here in mid-July, I guess. Yeah. yeah. When I came up here, first thing I did was snowboarding because I lost the whole last season due to the coronavirus. So I'm really glad to be here. It's perfect. Look at the weather. Sick. Yeah, we're up here. Perfect day. Just a uh, perfect day for the park. Uh, how many days a week do you get to ride? Uh, usually I come up here two days, I guess. Nice. And the yeah. other five days? I work as a teacher. I'm a primary <laughs> teacher here in the school in Zermatt, yeah. Oh, sick, man. Well, yeah, you're getting it, making the most of your days off. And, uh, dude, you absolutely smoked that lab. That was amazing. Thanks, man. <laughs> don't show this to my school children because yeah. they have to go to school today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. serious. <laughs> <laughs> and Sam, there was somebody in the landing of one of the jumps. He was, like, coming over. We were going for, like, a three or a five. And then just somebody, like, was sneaking into the landing, kind of hidden there. I mean, in the end, uh, I was lucky he wasn't in the very middle of the landing. Yeah. Because it got me really scared when I saw him when I was on the takeoff. Yeah, that was a close one. So, but yeah, that was an amazing run. Let's uh, we'll go do some more. Yeah. Sick man. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs>
Today, guys, in the park is definitely feeling like my best day. I feel like I have the most confidence. I'm hitting the most features comfortably and also just going for some more tricks. And I think that's just because being here for a couple days and getting lots of laps and getting used to everything has um, all just started to come together. And I think if you're out there and you wanna learn tricks, if you wanna get into the park, I think the biggest thing or the biggest recommendation I would give is to just give it some time. So spend time in the park, do laps, hit the features, and I think your riding style will adapt and you'll just start to learn like how much speed to take into each feature, what the landing is like. Once you get all that dialed in, then that's when I think the tricks will come as well. Um, Sam is also a snowboard coach, coaching teenagers for years. Sam, what's something, piece of advice that you would give to your students for progressing in the park? Uh, I would probably say ride as much as you can uh, get comfortable to the conditions and to the park and then try to get out of your comfort zone Exactly. Yeah. yeah, pushing it a little bit getting a little bit like today for me going for those threes First ones of the season kind of pushed me a bit So and that was thanks to you watching you do do some uh, bigger tricks pushed to me So I think another thing that helps is riding with people that push you. Yeah, that's uh, one big thing as well, I guess, yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Any secret tips you would give to your students for learning a trick? Just do it if you can think about it in your head. If you think, okay, maybe I'll land this, then just go for it. Because uh, if you never fall while snowboarding, you're just not getting out of your comfort zone. So at one point, you just have to decide, okay, I'm doing it now. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You visualize, once you got that visual in your head, and then go for it. Awesome. Yeah. So guys, big shout out as well to Yannick and Rob for getting those drone clips. I think that's the first time, Ooh. first time we've flown the drone like that. How did it? How did it go? Uh, it was a bit scary at the start. I didn't want to mess anything up, but I guess we'll see what it looks like. If you don't see Kevin, that means it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> guys, Sam and I are also riding the same board today, the Capita Outsiders. Like for me, I think the Outsiders is perfect for these conditions. It just uh, gives you more stability on landings and on the takeoffs as well. So just helping you to feel a bit more in control and just like harder, firmer snow. What do you think, Sam? Like, how do you like the Outsiders? Yeah, that's absolutely, absolutely true what you said. I also feel like you can really use every aspect of the sport. Like it's a bit uh, on the stiffer side. Camber is really useful in the hard snow. Good choice for today. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Guys, I'll put a link to the Capita Outsiders if you want to check it out down in the description as well. 